expensive Pokemon cards. Now I know what you're thinking. Judging by the title and thumbnail, I should be showing you cheap Pokemon cards. And I will. There's just this misconception that cool Pokemon cards have to be expensive. I mean, it is no secret that I've spent a lot of money in the past few months on, well, basically these. Um, these are overpriced, in my opinion, so let's just get these out of here real quick and actually show you some Pokemon cards that are worth your time. For example, it started off with a few full art trainers right here. And we have the Juck, the SR, we have the Juck SAR, and same for the Arwin right here. Let's start it off with the Juck. So the Japanese and English version really aren't that different in price. Um, this Japanese version, for example, is about 5 euros, which is pretty, pretty affordable. And this SAR, though, I am, you should grab the English one. This Japanese one is 20, in my opinion, way too expensive, when you can have the English version for about 7 euros. So there's something to look out for. Same with the Arwen, it's actually a similar story right here. We have the Arwen, the Japanese version is about 8, and in English, I, it should be around 6 euros. And with the, with the SAR, it's the exact same story right here. In Japanese, it's way too expensive at about 20 euros, while in English, it's just about 8. So, you should definitely grab the English version for these two, and I guess these ones, you can either grab the, the English or Japanese one, doesn't really matter. Now, two other full art trainers I would actually like to shout out is the Groschan for one for about 5 euros in English, and the Boss's Orders featuring Getsies, both from Padel Evolved. Um, the Boss's Orders is currently sitting at around 6 euros. Special illustration rares have been introduced in Scarlet and Violet and are currently continuing on full steam ahead, which is nice. I really like these cards. Um, let's start it off with this Coridon from Scarlet and Violet. Um, this can be had for just 22 euros, can you believe that? This is essentially an alternate art. If this was an alternate art from the Sword and Shield era, and it would be much harder to pull, this would be way more expensive. But that's the nice thing for now about Scarlet and Violet. Cards are so easy to pull, and that also means they are really, really affordable. Same with the Skeledurch, which is around 16 euros, can you believe this? For for this card right here, 16 euros, and that is a stunning alternate art. Man, oh man. The Meowskerada, though, this one is a bit more expensive at around 20 euros. But still, I mean, compared to the Japanese price of this card. Man, and it looks really cool. And then we have my boy Quaquavel over here. This is just 10 euros. Like, I couldn't believe it when I actually checked the price. This is super, super affordable. I mean, I do have to be honest, this is probably my least favorite of the three, but I mean, come on. For an alternate art, under 10 euros, this is a really, really good deal. Now, where there are special illustration rares, we of course also have normal illustration rares, like this Ice Cube, for example. Um, this one from Snow Hazard actually ends up being cheaper than the English version. This one is around 3 euros. And another card that I would love to show off, but I don't actually have on hand, is the Miss Magis. Either from Paldea Evolved or from Triple Beat. Both actually sitting at around 4 euros. The English version is a bit more expensive, but if you can get a great deal for the Miss Magis, um, you can go with either or. Just your preference in terms of language, I suppose. Let's go a bit further back to V-Star Universe. The three legendary dogs, we have the Entei, the Raikou, and the Suicune. Let's start it off with the Entei right here. This one in Japanese is around 11 to 13 euros. It all depends on if, the, if you're getting a good deal at the moment, but that's generally the price point. I know this is the least favorite of the three, but I mean, if, you, if you're in the market for these two, you might as well want to pay or pick this one up to complete the trio. Of course, the Raiko right here. This is around 16 euros in, in Japanese. I know in English it's a bit more expensive from Crown Zenith, and we'll get to that in a second, but in Japanese it's around 16 euros. And then we have, of course, the Suicune. This is the most expensive of the three. Um, in Japanese it's around 25 euros, but the artwork is just stunning. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, 
You can essentially either buy them in English or Japanese. Um, for this one, I would recommend the Japanese version, though. It It is really difficult to tell, but the texture of the Japanese one is just so much more fine. And it just seems to reflect the light just a little bit better than the English counterpart. But either way, if you're picking up either the English or Japanese version, you're gonna be really happy with either one. We're not done with V-Star Universe yet, we still have a lot of cards that I would recommend you buying. And let's just start off with any of these. So this Zashian right here in Japanese is around 12 euros at the moment. And the artwork in, in person is just super stunning. I really, really like this card. Same with the, with the Zamazenta. This one actually is a quite a bit cheaper at just 8 euros. But still, I mean, it's similar to the to the legendary dogs. If you're getting the Zashian for like a collection or something, you might as well pick up the the Zamazenta as well. This is an awesome, awesome card. Next up, we have this Zera Aura V Star right here, available at just ten euros. An illustration this cool at just ten euros. Can you believe that? And for V Star Universe specifically, that's why I showed off the Japanese versions for the for the legendary dogs. Um, the booster boxes for some reason are gaining in price at the moment and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be another reprint but then again I don't think these cards are gonna get much cheaper than they are right now. Honestly, even with a reprint I don't think that will do much. That's why I'm recommending you to, to buy. If you have a card from V-Star Universe that you really want, I think this is the best the best point to buy him right now. But let's move it on to this Deoxys right here. Also available at just 10 euros. And I really like this way more than the VMAX one, you know, where it's like Deoxys being beamed up or beamed down by the Orbeetle. Um, I like this much more. I really, really, really appreciate this illustration. Of course, we're not done with with V-Star Universe yet. We have this Lucario. Now this Japanese version actually ends up being uh, more expensive than the English one. Of course, the English one you get from your Crown Zenith um, Elite Trainer box as a promo. So this Japanese version will run you um, about 11 to 12 euros. But believe you me, the texture for this one is similar to the Raiko, much, much better than the English counterpart. And then we have this Dark Cry right here. This Dark Cry is available for about 14 euros. And this is actually the one I've pulled all the way from my first booster box. And I, I'm still stunned about this illustration. This is super well done. Now, before we end with V Star Universe, just as another single Fallout trainer that I wanted to show, this Sharon's Care from, of course, V Star Universe, available for around 14 euros. This is one of the cheaper trainers from V Star Universe, but that doesn't mean it's bad in any way. This is a beautiful illustration. Now, next up, I have a set of illustration rares from V Star Universe and V Max Climax. Let's start it off with V Star Universe with this Miltang, this Latios, and this Manaphy. And then for VMAX Climax, we have this Charizard, Kingdra, Dedenne, and Zekrom. Let's start it off with this Miltang right here. This is currently available. I see one available for 50 cents. 50 cents for this card. Are you serious? I, I really, really love this card. I mean, just look at the feast they're having. This looks absolutely amazing. This Latios right here, or Latias right here. This is around 3 to 4 euros. Still a super, super cool illustration. There is a jumbo card version of this card from the special collection. But, you know, the small one is still beautiful enough. And then the Manaphy as the last card from V-Star Universe right here. This is available for around 1 euro 50. 1 euro 50 for this card. Can you believe that? That still seems so insane to me for such a beautiful illustration, but hey. That's your gain, right? Cheap cards. Now, as I've said, VMAX Climax, we also have a few cards here. The Charizard, I see an offer right now for 6 euros, but it seems like the general price for this is around 8 euros. And with VMAX Climax, I actually don't think VMAX Climax is going to get another reprint. I'm pretty sure VMAX Climax is done. Maybe they do one at the end of the year as they did with Shiny Star V. That one was printed for, for a few years to come. But then again, Pokemon Japan currently has a lot of other issues they have to deal with. 
mainly like if, if you've seen the prices for for recent sets for Pokemon 151 especially and our ruler of the Black Flame too. I think they're currently handling printing the new sets to demand. And I don't think they're going to reprint VMAX Climax, but who knows? I'll, I'll be happy to be proven wrong. Let's move it on to this King Draw right here. This King Draw also available for around 5 euros. Really, really nice card. And it features Claire. Claire is not is not featured that often on cards from what I've seen. So this is a this is a really nice illustration. We have, of course, this day dinner right here. If you've watched my How I Protect My Pokemon Cards video, you'll know that, that this is the card that I sleeved. And here it is, the Dedene in, in its full glory, and currently available for around 9 euros. And to finish VMAX Climax off, we have this Zekromite here featuring N, of course. This just has to be one of the most beautiful illustrations I've ever seen. Man, oh man, this is super. And it's currently available for 4 euros. Super, super cheap. Now here are two cards that I don't recommend you buy, at least not in Japanese. First of all, we have this Altaria from Incandescent Arcana and this Brakeson. Um, both in Japanese are way overpriced and I'd highly recommend you buy these in English. Um, both of these in English, they are both from Silver Tempest in English and both of them can be had for just one euro. So if you want to save some money, you should really, really grab the English version for these two. Now I also still have a few full art trainers that I want to show off. Mainly the the Bea and the Nessa. Now these two are from from Vivid Voltage. These two, these I call them original versions. And the Bea is currently around 13 euros, and the Nessa is currently around 15 euros. The reason why I recommend them is, first of all, there is this current boom in full art trainers, especially female full art trainers, and Vivid Voltage has gotten so many reprints that I think at this point they're probably done reprinting Vivid Voltage altogether. And I think this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to pick up these two if you're missing them for your collection. Now a cheaper way to get the, the Bea and the Nesser are these two right here. We have this Bea from Astro Radiance, which I've actually pulled in my, in my Chara's at UPC opening. And this can be had for just 6 euros. And then we have, of course, this Nessa right here from Lost Origin, which can be had for around 7 to 8 euros. Both of them really cool. This might actually come down in price if the rumors of a Lost Origin reprint are true. But I'll just putting them out right here. I think this is a great opportunity and a great time to buy any of these cards. Now we're almost at the end here. We just have a few cards left. First of all, this... This birthday Pikachu from Celebrations, which is actually one of my favorite cards, and I can't believe how cheap this card still is. This is sitting at 5 euros. The Japanese version is way more expensive, and then of course so is the original one from way back when. And if you really want this card, I highly recommend picking, him, picking up a copy right now. And then of course we have the Charizard promos from the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I mean... Either you buy these cards single, which will cost you around 33 euros, or you just pick up a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection at MSRP, which in my opinion are huge fun to open. I mean, I pulled the I pulled the Moonbrion, but that's besides the point. Yeah, in my opinion, really fun to open these boxes, and the promos do not disappoint. These are awesome promos. Okay, well that does it about for this video. I mean, just look at this. I have so many suggestions for you that I can't even fit them all into frame. I still have these one like lying at the side here because I can't fit them into into the frame. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Um, stay tuned for more awesome content in the future, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace, peace.